hello guys welcome to the final tutorial uh, for the nail polish design so in this tutorial we are just going to render it in SOLIDWORKS visualize um, so to start we want to go into file new project and we can either drag our file into the viewport or we can just go to file import import models and part we want to select our nail polish assembly and click open and we are going to leave this check the geometry appearance auto resize monitor file and automatic and we click OK and our part should import shortly there you go um, so now the, it looks good it looks actually it looks pretty good so we are just going to edit it so I'm just going to rotate to a view a view I like um something like that maybe zoom out um drop it down zoom in just so so maybe i'll go with this for now and in the under the model we want to select the nail polish snap to floor just to make sure is um the uh, part is snapped to the floor and we go into the preview option we want to enable floor shadow reflect the other model and reflect in other model so the next thing we want to go is into our appearance tab and we only have three colors to work with in this project so this color um, this is another a color that I probably forgot to delete in SOLIDWORKS so I'm just going to delete it and we are going to work in the fast mode um, so I'm just gonna start editing um, tweaking this appearance a little bit I mean it does import the appearance very well from SOLIDWORKS to SOLIDWORKS visualize but you just have to probably tweak it a little bit so for the glass I think I'm going to go with um, zero on that one zero on the hue and 97 that's good just to kind of get white for the color density I think I'm just gonna if you know what this means please feel free to leave a comment I'm not sure exactly what it means I know it says uh, it focuses on the color and the appearance but that's why I'm just bumping it all the way to 1000 and that will be everything for the glass so for the red color we have metallic paint which is what we want for this project so for this ones I'm just going to um, change the saturation to 100, hue to 100 and color flop I'll do the same thing I'll change that to 100 um, for the travel I'll do 0 0.5 um, 0.5 oh, I guess I have to delete this first 0.5 good and the flick color I will do 77 and 97 on those the saturation and the value and oh sorry and we just keep going down for the roughness I'll do one and the flake coverage will leave it at 20 and for the clear code I just use one um, clear code tent we are going to now I do input 97 for the saturation and the value will be 83 and I know this stuff because I've worked with I've messed around with it and I these are the color that I found works uh, good for this project so and the clear code roughness we're gonna just leave it at zero and we don't want to do physical flick for this one and flake value uh, I'm not sure if this matters but I think on my the last one I worked with I did 0 0.05 but and this will be 0 0.07 so that will be everything for the paint and for the cap we want to just do pink for this and for the color we want to do all black and Clear code leave it at 10 roughness I'll do 5 and under the mapping 
with th this file came straight from SOLIDWORKS so everything looks good we might bump the um, increase the bump strength to 2 just to give it a little bit of roughness on there so that will just be, be, be um, that is pretty much the basic of adjusting your material now you can see it looks pretty good and the next thing we want to do is just go into our scene and I'll just go into my library and I found this white panel works better for this scene so I'm just going to drag it in and I'll delete my chrome, my chrome background so for this I want to hide my background and change the color to 72 and maybe I would do uh, rotate the view a little bit just to see what works better I think uh, it actually looks pretty good as zero so I'm just gonna leave it as zero and I'm just going to move this down a little bit and maybe zoom out so we pretty much almost done with this the only thing we need to add now is that decal so we are going to go into our appearance and file we just right click new decal and I go into my desktop and I have this decal saved but this is just a, a picture I found um, I found the picture on on Google and all I did was uh, I'm not sure if I still have the I'm not sure if I still have the picture um, I think I have the file somewhere but anyway I'll just open it so you see what it looks like so this is the picture I found on Google and all I did was delete the background I deleted the background and I save it as a PNG file so once you have your picture we're going to right click new decal we browse to our desktop select our logo open and I'm just going to go back into preview mode just to make it faster now just drag my decal to the surface like that and I would open my turn on my object manipulation too and I can start and you have to be careful when you select your decal so and I can start dragging um, my decal around adjusting it to something that looks good so you can spend a lot of time on this so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it though I'm just gonna show you uh, real quick how to do it so you can 1.123 to increase the decal depth so that way it doesn't clip on this end so I probably um, still have to scale it down a little bit more and or move it to the left just to show the decal so something like that maybe I'll scale it down move it back I'm still clipping scale it down move it uh, scale it some more move it down back this way I just kind of want to center it so pretty much any anyway once you once you've adjust your decal how you want it and it looks good so we're gonna go back into the fast mode and now the decal we want to make sure show decal texture is on check and what we want to do now is to make that decal pop we're just going to create a material and appearance and add that appearance to it so I'm just going to new appearance I'll make it paint and make it white and for the clear code we'll do 10 and for the clear code roughness 3 a value of 3 is good so now and you have to be careful because when you drag this appearance to the dec to the decal, if you select any of these glasses, it's gonna change the glass to that appearance. So you have to drag it. Uh, see what I mean? You have to drag it. Uh, um, no, that's not what I want. No, no. Please change. 
Uh, uh, there you go. Oh, I should have zoomed in. Let me try to zoom back out. So what I'll do is I'll go into um, my camera. I don't want to change that camera view. So I'm just going to copy this camera and I'm going to go into this camera and I'm just going to zoom all the way in and maybe drag that up maybe zoom out a little bit so that way I can see that decal very well so we're just gonna try that again and drag my appearance to that decal there you go and you will know the appearance is added to your decal because it's gonna show this little white dot on, on there so now we are done with that we can just delete that camera so and maybe I want to go into accurate mode so we see what it looks like and and go into my appearance just to make sure everything is okay on oh, my decal yeah so now now everything looks good and the color is changing you can see the decal now pops a little bit more and you can adjust the clear code and everything on your material um just adjust it to whatever you whatever value works for you so now what we want to do is we want to copy this part and just make it like three different nail polish with with different colors so what we're gonna do by is go back into our model and select our nail polish and we we'll, I'm gonna turn off my object manipulation to select our model and do control C control V so now it has copied it there so i can select this and i can just on the position i can just change the that value to the x value to 3.1 and and i will change the z value to 1.875 just to do something like that so move the back a little bit behind that and I'm going to select that part again I'm just gonna do um, copy control C control V again I'll do the same thing but this time I'll change it to negative 3.1 and this will be 1.875 it's so now we have the good thing about doing that is when you had your make sure you add your decal first because then when you copy your model it copies everything with the decal for you and makes new decal you see now I have three decals as opposed to one and so the next thing we need to do is change the color of this to blue and maybe this to purple so I'm going to select my appearance Control C, Control V. So in this, all I need to go through is all this value, and maybe all I need to do is maybe change this to like a blue. That's all I need to do. Maybe it will do maybe like a 218 for that. So I'm just gonna go into all this value and maybe change it to 218. Not maybe, but change it to 218 just to uh, that I'm gonna change the hue to it in um, this and to it in everything else stays the same we just change the just to change the color to blue so I'm gonna make one more I'm gonna copy um, control C control V and this we want to change it so let's do purple um, 283 looks good so I'm just going to 283 and change the rest the hue on the rest to 283 um, I keep clicking out um, 283 and I'm doing it clicking it out again 283 sorry and now we have our value so now we just need to add it to these two these two um 
nail polish sorry my i went blank for a second too this nail polish so what we will do is we, i can add it directly now because it's just gonna add it to the glass so i'm just gonna go back into my model uh select my nail polish which will be maybe i'll go back into preview mode so it's, everything is fine which is that nail polish and i'm just gonna click down on this button click down again and i find the nail polish click down Declare glass, that's what we want. We're just gonna hide it for a second. And and now you can see that that glass is hidden. Then we are just gonna drag our blue. Make sure you go under. Um, let's try that again. Make sure you go under so you don't change the appearance on uh, that. So just add it to that. Now we're gonna go back into our model our clear glass and on and show that glass again so we're gonna do the same thing for the nail polish too um, find the glass the which is that hide it and go into our appearance and drag that purple and the next thing we're gonna do is go back into that model and show it again and that's pretty much the entire workflow for this. And if I go back into accurate mode, and there you go, you have it. And I'm just gonna let it raise up. Maybe I'll go into fast mode just to show you the preview. It doesn't look as good in, in fast mode because we're working with glass. So I'm just going to go into accurate mode and we're just gonna let it raise up. And it looks pretty good once everything is done. And so that's pretty much the whole workflow I use to make this um, nail polish. And if you like it, please feel free to like or subscribe. And if there's anything I could do better or any technique you use when you work on your project, please feel free to leave a comment. As always, thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye.